Yeah, man. I didn't took you through the journey. You know what I had to go through to get to this point. And you know, even today, it's still a struggle. Because you done came so far, and I said it before, and you would think everybody would have your best interests at heart. As much as I love people, man, you see, loving people so much is what got me in trouble when I was coming up, because I was a people's pleaser. All I wanted to do was make people happy. Even back in the day when I was like abused and all that stuff, I just wanted, I wanted peace. I just wanted to make people happy. And if it meant that I had to be miserable in order for my mom and everybody else to be happy, hey, shall be it. Even selling drugs in those shootouts. Man, come on, I ain't really want to do all that. But I had to stand up. I had to think about what my mom was going through. Every time she would go to welfare and people would just treat her like she was nothing because she was handicapped. You know, getting money from the welfare just to get special clothes to go to school. The cheese, you know, all that, that disgusting stuff, man. You know, even, there were even times where family members said, go and apply for public assistance when I was going through the struggle. I refused to. I refused to. And when I came home from being incarcerated, I had to break out the system. I mean, I did it all. I tried to be everybody's friend. I tried to help everybody, even to this day, since I done overcame those obstacles, even people that know what I've been through still get close to you and try to break your spirit. I done had so many people, even in business, man, that would come in here and try to treat you like you some sort of dumb fool from the hood that, that you use on the street. I'm gonna tone that part, down, that part down a little bit. And what I have to do is like KRS-One said in the song before, he said, you know, um, they want us to act like ignorant brothers. And that's what, some, that's what people want me to act like sometimes. And I have to suck it up. And I have to go away and I have to do something else. That's why I wrote a couple of poems and put some beats behind it and, 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 and flow with it just to get out some anger that I was feeling from the struggles that I've been through over the last three years, the betrayal, all these things, man. You know, when I was at my worst, is even when my nephew got shot, somebody broke in my school and stole all that stuff. I mean, people continue to beat me down. They continue to talk about me. They be, I mean, people that you would never even expect that I thought had my back was going around saying everything they can do to assassinate my character. And when they would see me, they would talk to me and act like they was my friend. And even to this day, you know who you are. They still do the same thing. And all I want is like coming up. Be real, or if you can't, either way is about being real. If you don't like me and you hate me, act like it. Let me know and choose your side. If you love me and you want the best for me, then act like it and choose your side. But get out my way. Because see, that's where people get hurt. That's when it, that's when it, that's that battle I'm talking about. And those are the snakes. Those are those people that when they are around you, they preach the word. And when, they behind, when they're away from you, they talk about you and try to tear you down. If Jesus been through hell, and you've seen today, is nothing compared to what I done already did to myself in the past. I done been through hell. So how can you break me? The only person that can break me is me. When I stop keeping God first and I start putting people back there, God, people, family, all this, and I serve everybody else in this world, I got to realize and I got to remember that I have to accept people when they can't accept me for who I am. I got to love them unconditionally, and that's hard. I mean, I done went back to my own hood to offer martial arts and open up a school, thinking that the mayor, thinking that all these people had my back. All I be trying to do is lift up the community and help little kids avoid the pitfalls that I done went through. Don't nobody really care. They use your name and they, they get what they can get, get the recognition, and then bang, they abandon the situation. If you really cared, you would keep your heart and your soul and your spirit committed to the quest of making sure somebody else can be the best. And the shameful thing is, 
that you can't fake out the young kids and the teenagers no more because they know you don't care. They know you front. They know you perpetrate. They know it. So many people lazy, man. They just want, you know, they don't appreciate nothing. Even the people I be around, I see people with so much talent, gifted, God gifted ability. And guess what? They sit around and chill because they try and kick it because they know they got a little bit of something. They, they know they got something that, make, that draws people to them and make people want to be around them. That's how I was until God took it away from me and he gave me another chance. And for that, I will never be ungrateful again.